Hello everyone. Well, I wasn't planning to unbox another pneumatic Henry on my channel. Not quite so soon anyway. I've got plenty of other pneumatic cleaners to show you. But I thought I'd do this video today to highlight an offer at myhenry.com because this particular Henry has £50 off bringing it down, I'll just check my notes, bringing it down to 99.98. So you can have your very own Henry for under a hundred pounds. So if you're thinking of adopting one of these smiley faced vacuums, perhaps now's the time. So you can go over to myhenry.com. There's also offers on the Henry XL Plus that's been reduced to 129.98. There's 40 pounds off that one. And if you want to wash your carpets and floors, there's a Henry wash at 199.98 with 30 pounds off. There's also 20% off selected accessories, and I've taken advantage of that. I bought a few new filters and tool kits for some of the Henrys I've got. This particular one, I didn't actually buy direct from my Henry because other retailers have this on offer at around £100 as well. I got this from very.co.uk because I get a discount from Very and this cost me only £85 with my discount. But for everyone else, you'll be able to pick this up for just under 100 So let's have a look at what £100 will buy you. Obviously, this offer is limited. It's not going to be on forever. But I suggest to you, you follow my Henry on Facebook or Instagram or go to their website and subscribe to their newsletter and you'll be updated of any further offers because they do offers from time to time throughout the year. So it's a good idea to keep updated. So let's have a look. This is a pretty new machine made in January 2022, I believe. So we've got uh, the standard instruction book with Henry and Hetty there in the background. We've got this nozzle. I'm not a fan of it, to be honest. It's not very good on my plush pile carpet. For short pile carpet, it's fine. But as I've said before in many videos, if you've got longer pile carpet, or if you've got pets, get a Henry with a turbo brush, the full size turbo nozzle. Obviously you can buy models that have that included and I've shown many of those on my channel. But if you've got a mixture of hard floor and carpets, you don't have any pets, this supplied nozzle may be fine for you. But it's a plastic based nozzle, you've got litter pickers, a full width cleaning suction channel there, two little wheels at the back and there's a foot operated pedal so you can lower a brush at the front, you can see that brush there, and there's a little squeegee lowers as well at the back. So that is your main nozzle for carpet and hard floor cleaning. You also get, this is your curved wand, including the suction regulator. It's just a vent that you can open up to reduce suction at the end of the hose or whatever accessory you're using. One, Two wands. Here we have the Flomax hose that's tapered, so it's wider at the cleaner end than it is at the handle end. This increases the airflow and increases the suction at the end. But being wider, it also helps to reduce any blockages. It's, it's trying to attack me, go away. Inside this little green bag, we've got the small tools. And of course, Henry is made in the UK. So if you want to buy British, if you want to support British business, Henry is made in the UK. Some of the parts are imported. The motor's from Italy. The filter is from China. And I think the bags are made in Belgium. Anyway, here is a nice sized crevice tool for your nooks and crannies. The dusting brush, whoops. Now, this dusting brush, the actual bristle part, they're made in the UK by a separate company. And this is a combination of horsehair and I believe it's polyester fibers. 
So that's for your dusting. It's good for Venetian blinds and lampshades and things like that. What else have we got? This is your adapter piece that enables you to fit any of the accessories directly to the hose end without using the curved handle. This is the upholstery nozzle or general purpose. You can use it for lots of surfaces, upholstery, curtains, use it on your stairs. And that also comes with a brush. Again, this particular part isn't made by Pneumatic, but it's made by a firm in the UK. And that doesn't have any horsehair in it. That's just like a, a nylon fiber, a bit stiffer. So you can slide that on. And that gives you a bit of agitation. So it's, it's too stiff for dusting, but if you're cleaning inside your car and your car mats have got some dried mud on, you could put this brush attachment on, agitate the mud to loosen it, and then you can slide that off and then suck up the loosened dirt using the nozzle without the brush. So that's all your small accessories. So let's take a, a look at the cleaner itself. Before that though, we get one spare dust bag. There's one fitted to the machine, a pneumatic HEPA flow bag. This cleaner, the bag actually is a nine litre capacity, so it fits bigger Henry's, but the smaller compact Henry's and Hetty's, and this is a compact version, will fill to about six litre capacity, but that's still a large amount of dirt you can pick up before you need to put a new bag in. So I've never had, obviously from the picture, you know that this isn't the standard red and it's only the blue Henry that's on offer at the moment. So if you're not bothered about the color or you might prefer blue, now is your time to adopt a pneumatic Henry. Oh, he looks very different in blue. Of course, you can buy Henry. The Henry comes in the traditional red. This is the blue I'm going to show you in the video, but Henry also comes in yellow and green. But as I said, if you want a Henry for under £100, it's the blue one that's on offer at the moment. Well, here he is. And I must say, I do like this blue colour. It makes a change from the standard red. This is a compact Henry, the 160 version, as opposed to the full-sized 200 version. I remember when Pneumatic International launched the compact machines. I think the first compact cleaner I showed you was the compact Hetty 160 and I was very pleased about that because I did find the full-sized Henry a little bit awkward and clumbersome around my house and I find that the compact versions just a little bit easier to handle. They still have the same suction as the full-sized machines and the same 10 meter mains cable. They're just a little bit lighter to carry and a little bit more compact to store. So let's have a, a look at Henry. We'll turn him round and have a look at the back. Here we have the on off switch for the single speed 620 watt motor. Henry's used to be up to 1200 watts, but I've recently tested a new Henry 1200 watt machine that I bought against the 620 watt machines, and they have the same suction power. So the motor inside, which incidentally is made in Italy, the motor inside these are more efficient than the standard older motors. So you're still getting good suction power, but reduced electricity costs and everything's going up electricity prices are going up in the uk so every little helps i suppose you can still clean your home effectively using a motor wattage of 620 watts and here we have a mains on indicator light that light will always be on when henry is plugged in at the back of henry we've got storage for the small cleaning tools so we can put the upholstery nozzle with a slide on brush we could pop the dusting brush on there but we're left with two other attachments so you can piggyback them if you want to so you could put the crevice tool in the slot and just pop the dusting tool on the top of it like that and then the short adapter piece that can go in and then you can pop the upholstery nozzle on so you can in theory store all the small tools on the back of the Henry. This is the wand dock that enables you to store the main carpet and floor nozzle securely 
on the back of her knee. So that's ideal if you just want to pause your cleaning instead of lying down your nozzle onto the floor and having to bend down to pick it up. You can slot it into the slot and pick it up and carry on cleaning or you can store it in a tall cupboard with both the wand, the curved wand and the hose attached. It just keeps everything neat and tidy. On the top of Henry's body we've got a built-in carry handle that enables you to carry Henry up the stairs or of course out to your car. Henry is ideal for car cleaning. In fact you can buy a special car cleaning kit that includes an extension hose so it'll really reach in to all the nooks and crannies of your car or caravan. For all of you who like to see the rating sticker, here it is. So this machine is 220 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 620 watts. The serial number is 22051132020, which I believe this was made in the year 2022, week five of 2022. The weight of the machine is 7.5 kilograms, and we've got the address of Pneumatic International there. The model is HVR160-11. Before we have a look inside Henry, I'll just show you a few more things on the outside. Underneath here we've got two smooth running swivel casters and at the back two large wheels with a nice soft tyre so that means it'll go over your smooth surfaces without damaging them. We've got the exhaust vent just at the back underneath the switch assembly and at the side here we've got two clips, one either side and also on the top of the motor unit or his bowler hat this part is rubberized so it performs the job of being a furniture guard so if you knock Henry into the sides of your wall or into furniture this should protect the furniture and Henry from damage. Okay so we'll lift up the motor unit just by pulling both of these clips outwards and then off comes the motor unit and we can reveal the filter. This is a standard Triflex filter. You can buy an optional Microfresh filter which is something I've bought recently which had the 20% off. So you can buy it in this 160 size to fit the compact versions. You can also buy it in the bigger size for the larger Henry's and Hetty's. So if you've got pets you can buy a version of this which has a charcoal layer that is designed to absorb the odors coming from the bag because as you know if you've got dogs or cats the bags can start to smell after a while. Now officially this says do not wash. I know plenty of people that have washed these filters but the best thing to do if they're not too dirty you can just brush them. You can actually use one of the um, Henry attachments with the brush just to give it a, a bit of a brush off. If it does get dirty you could use this nozzle. But normally as long as you empty the bag or replace the bag on a regular basis before it gets too full and you use genuine HEPAflow bags the filters do stay pretty clean. So that's your filter and then of course we've got the bag in here. Epiflow bag, you can remove it from the machine, close the cap, dispose of all the dirt and put in a new bag. And there we have the inside of the cleaner and this back piece here, this is the bag support tube. So it's very simple this machine, all you have to do as long as the uh, writing is uppermost on these you just push the red collar over the black support tube make sure it's nice and secure a nice firm tight fit like so pop the filter back and then you can pop the motor unit back so here's the motor unit with a 620 watt motor under there pop the motor unit back on the body and then you just push in both clips to secure it. So let's turn Henry on. We've got a long 10 meter cable. When they're brand new, they'll have some plastic protector over the three pin plug. So out we pull the very long cable. Like so. We can plug Henry in now. Let's make sure, yes, he's in the off position. So 
So that's another benefit of this cleaner, the very long cable. And Henry is also pretty quiet. <laughs> Okie dokie, well, let's uh, screw on his uh, hose or nose that completes his face. <laughs> so there you go. You can see why the Henry appeals to many young children. It, it is quite toy-like in its appearance, but it does the job with a smile on his face. It does actually do the job. It looks like a toy, but unlike the toy Henry you can actually buy from Kasdan, the real Henry does actually pick up pretty well. So we've got the Flowmax hose. As I said, you, you can attach any of the small tools directly to the hose using the adapter. So if you're cleaning your car, this is the way I would use it so you can get under the car seats. But for normal household use, you would attach the curved wand. You can use it in different angles. You can put it in this way or this way, so it just varies the height you can use it. So if you're taller, you can put it in this way, but you can also have it at different angles. If you're cleaning up high tops of cupboards and things, you can just put it in either way. So we can attach the wands. These do tend to fuse themselves together sometimes. There have been complaints. So if, you've, if you're in a relationship and you've got someone who can tug on the other end for you. I suggest if they do get stuck, get someone to hold the other end while you twist and pull. But that does happen, I have to say. So they're not perfect, these cleaners. I do like them, and I like the fact that they're made in the UK. But uh, they have niggles about them. But many people, if you read the reviews, many people love their Henrys and Hetties. And at the moment, for £100, I don't think you can get a better cleaner in the UK at the moment for £100 than this. And of course, you're buying British. So, there we go. That's the uh, floor nozzle fitted. And as you can see, this is how you'd attach the floor nozzle to the wand dock there and keeps everything, as I said, keeps it all together. Okay, well. I think I've shown you everything I need to show you. Shall we put some dirt down and give Henry his first taste of some dust, dirt and uh, whatever else I can find to throw at him. Before I give Henry a bit of light supper, I'm going to measure the suction power at the end of the hose with an empty brand new dust bag. And then when I've finished giving Henry everything he needs to eat, I'm going to measure the suction again at the end of the video just to see how much suction he's lost. But first we need to measure the suction with an empty bag and I'll just show you that we've got an empty bag. There we go, empty dust bag. Pop the filter back on. There we go. I won't edit this part because we'll be able to see there we go. Okay, we'll pop the old suction gauge on the end of the hose. It's normally about 80, uh, spoiler alert. Henry's normally measure 80 for a 620 watt motor. Well, no surprises there. Henry measured around 80 on the suction gauge. Don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video when I'll be measuring Henry's suction again after he's cleaned up a considerable amount of dirt.
Well, I've given Henry a load of dirt to pick up, far more than he would normally pick up under normal household conditions, but I don't live in a normal household. So let's check the suction again. Remember it was 80 on the gauge with a completely empty bag. I'll show you the bag in a minute. The bag will be quite full, but let's see if Henry has lost any suction. <laughs> Well, I would say that Henry was still measuring around 80, very, very slightly under, but nothing too noticeable. And I'll show you how much dirt we picked up in that demonstration. Let's have a look at the filter. There's the filter, still spotlessly clean. And here's the bag. So I'm going to just shake the bag a bit with Henry's hose still attached. And then we're just going to release the bag. Fold over the flap. And we've got quite a heavy bag full of muck. Now, I have to be honest with you, there is some light dust inside the bin. Not a huge amount. And there's some smaller particles that they probably fell out when I removed the bag from the machine. So if you want to be ultra hygienic, just get a wet wipe, wipe around the bin, and then by the time you fetch a new bag, the bin will have dried. But that's still a whole lot cleaner than a bagless machine. If that had been the filter on a bagless cleaner, most bagless cleaners, you'd have seen a lot of visible dirt on that. And of course, the bagless container would have been absolutely filthy, but instead we have a very clean HepaFlow bag. We can dispose of that. Although as you saw, there's hardly any loss of suction. I can use this for considerably longer now. I mean, that's a lot of dirt because I put down a lot of dirt, but in a normal domestic house, you'll probably go weeks and weeks before you need to change the dust bag in a Henry vacuum. Well, there you go. That's the end of today's video on the Blue Henry 160 vacuum cleaner. I think at the offer price for just under £100, this Henry is an absolute bargain. They have pros and cons. Read the reviews, decide whether Henry is right for you. But personally, for just under £100 at the moment, I think this Henry is an absolute bargain, even if you want one just for the car or for doing those above floor jobs if you've got an upright cleaner and you want something for the nooks and crannies, the stairs, or you want a secondary vacuum cleaner to keep upstairs, then look, £100 for a British made vacuum cleaner that's gonna last many more years than most cordless vacuum cleaners on the market. If you have any comments or questions about Little Blue Henry, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.